Welcome to the world. Okay, let me turn off the music. Hang on. Okay, welcome back to the world. Welcome to our Disney series that we're working on. Again, not literal interpretations, just kind of looking at a picture, saying, how do I want to put that on my face? I'm putting it on my face. Today we're putting the Red Queen on my face. Which I just realized how long that sounded. Man, it's fine. Um, I've got most of what I think I'm going to need. I'm not going to put lashes with this look because I don't want the lashes to be the emphasis. I want the reds to be the emphasis. Um, I don't have tea today. Instead, I have cranberry juice. Because she's constantly saying off with their head. And it looks like an off with their head kind of color. And yes, my wine glass says happy Halloween. Because I like Halloween. Now, I've got up all my reference pictures and she is... Mostly red and black. She's got a hint of gold. I don't want to use yellow again, so I've got some gold glitter that we're going to try out. And today we are using the Profusion Rubies palette and the Profusion Starlet palette. Um, neither of which have been used before, so that'll be interesting. I've got my primer on my face and my eyes, and because I said we'd use the tape, even though it's not my biggest fan, we're going to go ahead and put some tape to kind of shape out the eye shape we want, because I do want a nice clean cat eye. Um, and I'm curious if it will make things easier or harder, if it'll work at all. So, two seconds while I put on tape. Maybe, if I can, we're gonna try. Okay, and I'm gonna go from my lower lash line out to the edge of my brow. Oh, that looks real weird. That feels even worse piece of tape. Attempt to get this on my face. I think we're going to have to uh, I feel like the trick is not catching your eyelashes in the tape. So we're going to make sure that we've got... Uh, darn it, I got some little lashes in the tape. Okay. We are going to open up our Ruby's palette. And we're going to open up our Starlet palette. The Starlet palette has not yet been used. So it still has this fun, like, thing on it. So we're going to find the tab for that and remove it. But I still want to keep it because it tells me my colors. So we're going to flip it into the lid so that we know the colors that we're using. Maybe. Yes. We'll just keep it off to the side. We'll do something. We'll figure it out. I just need these colors. Okay. I think we're going to use kindly as a transition shade. So we're just going to take our pointer brush, the larger of the two I believe. Screw it. We're taking this pointer brush, it's a Mary Kay eye crease brush, we're going to put it in kindly and we're going to pick up our mirror and we're just going to start and we're going to see how this goes. This feels really weird. And we're going to try and take it all the way to the tape. Let's see, and we've already got, there we go. Already we're fluffing things up. I don't like this tape, you guys. I feel like making a cat eye is a lot easier without using the tape. And then we're going to take that same brush and move to a more reddish shade. Ow. 
So we're going to take Fireball out of the Ruby palette, which is not a super red red, but we're still working on our crease. And just lightly, oh, that made that real red. Ooh. And that is my, that is my husband over there. And that is my friend Sean over there. <coughs> and we're not quite sure what shape we're doing, so we're going to take that fireball clear down into the inner corner. And put it on the lid. Because why not? Now we're going to start with some red reds. So I think we're going to go in with a little bit of ruby and a little bit of rouge. And start on my eyelid. See how red we can get this. I feel like looking like my eyes are monsters. Because why not? So pretty. Okay, we're going to take the Profusion brush, not that one. We want the slightly fluffier Profusion brush. No, damn it. Forgive the language, y'all. Happens when I'm frustrated. Because I can't decide what I want to do. Granted, I should probably plan these looks out a little bit more, but I feel like that's not nearly as much fun as just putting stuff on your face. So we're putting Rouge and Ruby all over our lid and under our lid, apparently. Because I feel like it will help with the shape. And the reason I'm trying to concentrate the red to the eyelid is because I'm going to take the crease with the black for the black in her dress because if you look at the actual movie, wow, that's a lot of red. That looks like a lot more red on camera than it does in person. Well, hopefully that means it photographs well. Okay, so, ooh, I have kind of a pinkish glitter, but that's more pink than red. I wish I had a red, red glitter. That would make this neat. But I'm also using gold glitter. Okay, we'll focus on that later. Okay, we're going to take our eye crease brush, which is, I'm pretty sure that was an eye. We're taking the new, the other Mary Kay eye crease brush, which is the one shaped like that, and we're going to tape it in the shade Witchy, which is a black. Very black. Can't even tell it is on there. Hopefully there's pigment on there. And we're going to put that in the outer V. Oh, wow. It's definitely there, but it blends out very quickly. So we'll just tap some more on. And I'm going with more of a tapping motion as opposed to a sweeping motion. And I'm trying to take this far enough in. Oh no, that's not where I wanted that pigment. Uh, look, I have an extra razor that way. This is not doing what I want it to. We're gonna hope that we can blend it and fix it by blending it. I was liking this a whole lot more before I added the black, but I don't want to take it all off and redo it. So we're going to attempt to make it work. As Tim Gunn used to always say on Project Runway, we're going to make it work. Oh, that's real. That, that's a lot. Now we're going to take 
our blooper and hope that we can fix it. If not, we will be using our magic eraser trick to fix it. bring the red up to that black a bit more. Oh, no. Long live my brush. Now we are going to... Oops. Normally I move the keyboard I did today. I use my magic eraser trick and try and get some of the black on the top of this tone down. Give me more defined shape. And then we're going to add more red because I feel like we took out a lot of the red, which was not my intended goal. Okay, so as a whole, I like these shadows. Not sure how much I like the black, but the rest of them I'm, I'm enjoying. So we're going to add more red because we blended a lot of it out and I really want the red to be pigmented. So we're going to put some on top of that black and see if we can get it to show up. Ooh, we can. Ooh, that's fun. I like that a lot more. And I'm still just using, to get this super red red, I'm using the Ruby and the Rouge. Nifty. Now I'm going to grab this brush. Do I want that black? glitter on it. The black and gold glitter on these two different glitter brushes. Or it's one I just used. Okay. Nope. All right. All right. Okay. We're going to use the Sonia Kashuk brush and take the color Boom. Try and pick up some of this black and gold glitter. Oh, that was a lot. Oh, not that much. Oh darn it. Apparently we're putting a lot of glitter. And we're going to put some of that out here on the outer corner. Not too, too much. We're going to try and blend it inward with the side of the brush that we didn't glitterify. Whether or not that actually, that's actually working. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Glitter, Get the glitter side, and then attempt to blend it a bit. So it did add a little bit more dark, but I think I'm going to take a little bit of this pinkish red glitter on the same brush, attempt to not pick up as much as I picked up with the black one. And put that in there too. Because I really like these glitters. This is really, really good glitter. So I don't want too much glitter because it's not a full glitter eye look. I mean, it might be by the time we're done. But that wasn't the original intention. Then again, I didn't really have an original intention. These glitter shades are really interesting because it's like just packed glitter. So I'm going to use my finger see if I can apply some better that way. Ooh. 
butter. Should probably stop there with the red glitter because I also want some gold glitter. So the gold glitter, that red glitter I just put on was, and you can't tell. Entertainingly enough called Queen. Um, and now the color I'm going to put on is called Drippin' because the Red Queen has her crown and I think this is gonna be the best way to incorporate that. So first we're going to put down a little bit of burst so that Drippin' has something to stand out with. Um, not really doing what I want it to. I mean, it's lightening up the red a little bit, but and I don't really want the red lightened. I really like the red. I just want something for that gold glitter to stick to. Mm. See you guys? The glitter. Come on, focus. Okay. And this is another one of those looks where you're really happy, or at least I'm really happy. I didn't do my face first because I have fallout everywhere. Glitter. I'm probably going to regret this later because I know this, I can almost guarantee I'm going to end up with glitter in my contact. Or it's going to be a pain to take off. Mm. I'm going to leave that alone because if I don't stop messing with it, I'm not going to stop messing with it. So I'm going to pop off camera real quick and do some liner and then I'll be right back. Okay, and now for the satisfying tape removal. If I can get a hold of the tape. Oh, maybe not from that side. That side's stuck in my hair. Ow, ow, ow. I mean, it definitely gives you a clean line, but oh, wait. Mm. I don't know. Let me um, let me do my foundation, my brows, and my contour, and all of that jazz, and I'll be back. Actually, I'm probably going to do, I'm probably going to do the rest of my face, and I'll be right back. Okay, so this is kind of what ended up happening. Um, I ran out of the one brow product I was using, so I switched to brow products. Um, it's a learning curve with my new brow product. I'm still angry at this freaking eyebrow. I told my husband the first thing I'm going to do when the quarantine is over is go spend 20 bucks to get my eyebrows fixed. It's refreshing. Not mad at the look. I really, I added more gold to the center of this, or to the inner corner of this eye because it wasn't quite, like, goldy enough. And then I did a really bright red lip. And then I put a little bit of glitter over the lip. But, ta-da, it's the Red Queen. Now I'm off to go shopping for makeup with my friend because she needs more makeup. Mwahaha. Anyways, I hope you guys had fun. Thanks for chilling out with me. Um, remember, be the change you want to see in the world. Be kind to one another. Be kind to yourself. And as always, especially right around now, a smile is contagious. Have a great day. Bye.